Gosh, I just feel so weird. I mean, look at me. I even walk funny now. What the crap? Okay, okay, let me just... <sighs> okay, spirit, please guide me. I'm so confused. I feel like I'm going crazy. All of a sudden, I have these pupils and a deeper voice. It's like everything is changing so fast. I don't even know who I am anymore. Please, spirit, show me the way. Patch, go, go to the farthest, to the farthest reaches, reaches of the universe within you. Within you. Raise, Raise your, your conscious, conscious frequency, frequency and, and rend yourself, yourself free, free from, from the veils of Maya, Maya and you will be free. free. The farthest reaches? Hmm. O okay, okay, I can do this. Let's <sighs> take a few deep breaths. That is. Hello there. What the heck? Calm Where down. am I? Calm down. Ah. Take a breath. Passionate. It's okay. Breathe. Breathe. Good. Good. Everything will make sense soon. Oh my head. I feel so expansive. Where am I? As it turns out, when you go inside out within your own chakras, you come out in an entirely different dimension. And so, this is 3D. What do you think? Well, I mean, it's cool, I guess. But I'm really confused about what's going on. I feel like my whole life is upside down. Well, listen, I brought you here so that I could help you in finding yourself, because you seemed a little lost. Well, that's nice of you. I just want to know who I am. I've been really struggling with it lately. I mean... I'm not you, but I am you. I don't even know where I came from or why I exist. Then all of a sudden one day I've got pupils and a deep voice. Did I go through puberty? Did my balls drop into my eyes? I'm so confused. So, let me start by telling you a story. Many, many years ago, when I was about 14, I started an animated series on the internet called Exile. And this series, along with some other things that I made, attracted some other creative individuals to me. And one of them, whose avatar nickname on the internet was Apple Juice, had designed a character named Patchman that he was going to animate because he was inspired by the videos that I had made. But then what happened was he didn't ever do anything with that character. And so the character sat on the shelf for many years until when I was 18, I reached out to my old friend and asked him if I could play with that one little Patchman character that he had created so long ago. Hey, wait, I think I remember that. Yeah, and that led to your first ever animated picture, which was a little crazy. Do you remember it? Oh, God, that was the one where I put the toothpick in my eye, wasn't it? It was the one where you put the toothpick in your eye, actually. What do you think? Should we share that video with everybody now? Oh, well, maybe we should ask the audience. Do you want to see the first ever Patchman cartoon? <sighs> I thought you'd say that. Okay, roll the clip. There's a visine for that. Oh my god, I can't believe we made that! So do you remember the other ones too? The Dark Knight and the Robo Rival? Those were fun times. Yeah, <laughs> fun. I seem to recall that they always ended up pretty painful for me in some way. 
But after that, soon spirit science came about, and everything changed. Well, Patch, we kept going on our adventure, until eventually, I hit a point of my life where everything changed. I had a spiritual awakening that shifted my understanding of reality so completely, and I felt called to bring that awareness to the world. And you became my avatar to do so. Your avatar? Yeah, avatar. It's kind of like, ooh, a Buddha was an avatar of Vishnu. So you have the supreme god, and then you have the embodiment of that god in a thing. So as above, so below, here's a human creator and an avatar with which for that person to speak through. Oh, I think I understand. So I'm like your avatar. That's why I have higher self dysphoria sometimes. Sometimes I talk and behave like I'm my own person, my own character. And sometimes I'm just you. That's so interesting. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? And as above, so below, I'm learning my own heart to be an avatar of my own higher self as well. And I feel like this is an important message for a lot of people to hear because everyone has the capacity to be the avatar of their higher selves if only they decide to step into the path of surrendering to the divine intelligence. Hey, well, you gotta admit, that is pretty neat. So you're saying that through the stuff we make, just like everyone else is, we are pulling up on the tapestry? Patchman, ever since spirit science began, you and I have been on this journey of learning and teaching the world together. When those first episodes came out, people just called me Patchman. And you and I were in, essentially one, at least in the perspective of many of the members of the audience. But back then on my journey, I was so young and inexperienced and unpracticed in meditation. And so I was very afraid to be associated with you as you. I, I was like, no, Patchman is a character and I am Jordan. And I created some separation there, largely out of a way of protecting myself. At the same time, I hid behind you and expressed myself through you as a voice and an instrument of my love and my creativity for many, many years. The truth is along that story, you know, a lot of confusion and chaos happened for both of us because I didn't know who I was. And it's only now in my current level of self-realization do I realize that you are truly an instrument of wisdom and you're reflected not just in me, but in the eyes of every person who watches your videos. So from that perspective, Patchman, you're not just me. You're kind of like a trinity of things. You are a little spark of the original creator. You can call that the Brahma of the equation. Then you're a good portion of me, the Vishnu of the equation, the one who just keeps it going on and on and on. And then you're also a part of the audience, the Shiva, the ones who are actively taking in the information and the ideas that you bring through. And the critics, of course, who actively seek to destroy what we create, which only further goes to strengthen our resolve to do a better job every time. So we really are in the center of a big matrix of creation that we share in between each other. And this relationship is reflected in basically every brand and every character that exists out in the collective human consciousness. That is through our imagination that we share the ideas with each other down here in the physical, through stories, through theories, through ideas, through projects, through technology, through entertainment. So our goal then essentially is to be able to share this vibration of truth, love, and authenticity with as many people as possible so that we collectively learn to harmonize through those virtues. Oh, okay. This is starting to click. I'm picking up what you're throwing down. But one thing is still really confusing. You're talking about all the content, 
And naturally, spirit science on YouTube and social media has been the public place of learning, and then spirit mysteries became the inner campus of self-realization. But why, oh why, Mr. Jordan, was spirit science changed to spirit verse? Well, spirit science is a gift. Spirit science is a gift to the world. And in a way, me letting go of the brand name, you know, the title spirit science, is a really good thing. Because then people can start to see the concept as more of a genre of science than anything else. And I believe that one day in the future, actual scientific journals will have a section called spirit science, where they talk about the science of consciousness and what is possible through consciousness. In fact, that's already happening today. It's just emerging still. So spirit science, for me, I reached a point where I realized that spirit science was still always just a show and that I was called to make more things and bigger things. More? Bigger? Wait, you had mentioned before that story called Exile, right? Is that a part of what you're talking about? Okay, so we're gonna have to back up here. I actually have a clip that was omitted from the self-realization video that I just posted the other day. And in it, this clip, I should probably just play it for you because it includes the answer to a lot of those questions as well as just dreams and intentions that I have in my heart very brightly that I would love to bring into the world. And so just know, Patchman, I'm gonna share this with you, but this isn't even the fullness of the picture. So I'll tell you a little bit more after. A world-class animation studio that continually produces the most outstanding, meaningful, spiritually relevant and sacred movies and stories and TV shows. And this isn't to be a proselytizing thing. This is like telling the story of the alchemist in the best possible way, in a way that is word for word, scene for scene as the book goes. And the truth is I've been called to do this with so many stories. And the one that is the highest in my heart and the one that feels also unattainable, but I wish to speak to it, is Aragon and the Inheritance Cycle. Because Christopher Paolini has done the world such a service by bringing this story into the world. And that story has been in my heart and has, has inspired me so much that I want to help tell that story like it's never been told before. And I believe that something as magnificent as Aragon deserves to be told in such a way that it captivates everyone to the degree that the books have for anyone who reads them. Along with that, I definitely want to make Jonathan Livingston Siegel, which is the next book that I'm reading inside of Spear Mysteries. And finally, there is a story that I've been writing ever since I was 14. When I was 14, I had this idea for a story that became named Exile. And between the ages of 14 and 19, I animated four episodes of them. This is how I spent most of my teenage years. And they were so much work that it took me one entire year to produce one episode about 10 minutes long. Obviously, this is unsustainable. And ever since then, I've been learning how to optimize my own workflow to make movies and videos and animations and cartoons with more flow. So my last and another major project that I want to work on and spend my time on is Exile, both writing the book in its fullness, as well as producing the story, the animation that tells it in its fullness, which would be just so much fun. Wow, that is such a big dream. And I know that's not even the end of it because I personally have talked about wanting to build a spirit center before. Jeez, I can see how you might be well like, gee, how do we make this happen? How do we start it? Have you considered of launching a Kickstarter? It's been a question for me of 
well, how big do we go right off the bat? We could start at a really small level, like 50 to 100K, and we could finish the Sumerian epic. That alone would be a really valuable use of our time to finish what we started and bring that into the world. Because Patch, I, you know, I don't think that people really know just how much effort it is to make one video. If I dropped everything and just focused on the Sumerian epic myself, maybe after two months, we might have one episode. And that's saying something. And that's me working nonstop. That's how big the Sumerian epic was. And so you see the loop that we get in because at sometimes it's just like, man, we just wanna meditate and people just wanna watch videos. But it becomes something so much bigger the more people get involved and the more that the dream is realized. So this is the challenge that we face. But I'll tell you what, for right now, I'm still very interested in making some more videos. I said that I was going to and I want to. And so I'm gonna take the next few weeks to do that with you. So you mean, you mean we get to make some more classic cartoons again? So I'll tell you what, there's actually three old She Patch Spirit Science episodes that were made that were never published and we still have them now. So you and I can go and make some Spirit Science videos, some new stuff that maybe feels like the original but with a new design, you know, try out this motion capture a bit more, and we'll see what we can come up with in short order. Does that sound good? Yeah, that sounds good. I think people will be happy with the new vibes. You know what, Patch? Before we go, there's one other thing that I want to tell you. What's that? I'm sorry. I'm actually really sorry because I didn't even realize, but I had neglected to bring you into Spirit Mysteries. You are such an important part of so many people's lives, and I have to acknowledge, and I do, that it's not about me. But there have been times where I didn't think that you mattered, or that it was wiser or better to not feature you or not put extra effort in to bring you into places. And as far as Spirit Mysteries goes, I always just thought that it was more professional, more mature to not have you in the Mystery School as much. And yet, it's very clear, just looking at the numbers, everybody loves the Seven Day Transformation. And that's the only course that you teach inside of the Mystery School. And I just want to acknowledge that, that in my own feeling overwhelmed, that I neglected to do the one thing that really would have helped the spirit of Spirit Mysteries. And so I'm just saying to you now, Patchman, that I'm sorry, but also this is good news because we're gonna bring you into the Mystery School even more. And what we're creating I really want to share this with you so that you understand, Patch. You are like the center point of an idea, but all around you is this field. And then it's our team, and then it's our community, and then it's the larger Spiritverse audience across the entire internet and the whole world. And our goal is to love louder and make more content, more flowing, across the board to increase this field and make it bigger, brighter, sparklier, cleaner than it ever has been before. Wow. I... I am without words. I feel like things make so much more sense now, just in this one meeting. Oh no! It looks like I'm starting to fade. I feel my astral body pulling me back to my physical body. That must mean I'm out of time here. All right. Well, know that I love you. Thank you for coming out here and realizing yourself in me. And thank you for answering all of my questions. Toodles! Ah, he beat me to it. Here we go, bump it.